Well, hi, it's Marcus and welcome back for more Adelaide Fringe. Um, I am Zooming in the Jungle Room, this time with two incredible artists who are back for the Fringe. They've been here before, they're coming back for more because they can't get enough of it all. I am speaking to Simon Lewicki and of course, Shimi Shiwaini. So how are you yes. guys? Welcome. Cheers, thanks for having us, Marcus. My, yeah, thank you for having us. <laughs> my absolute pleasure. Now, I know, thank you. Simon, you're coming to me from Byron Bay at the moment. Yay, nice. And <laughs> Shimi, um, where are you? Are you over in New Zealand at the moment? Yeah, we're in Tasmania. Yeah, oh, Tasmania. In Tasmania. Yes, in Tasmania. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing in Tasmania? We're actually doing a show called Hope. Okay. So this is what we are doing right now, yeah. Yeah. So we will be performing tomorrow night. Yeah. Awesome. And then you make your way over to Adelaide then, yeah? Yes, we make our way to Adelaide, yes. Nice. I love it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you guys are coming to Adelaide Fringe 2024 for your two shows. Uh, one, of course, is History of Hope, um, the yes. funny program. Look at it. Double page spread. You cannot miss it. Um, <laughs> now, um, Simon... It's beautiful is the DJ for that show. Um, and it's yes. exceptional. I saw it last year. It's amazing. But excitedly, um, Soweto Gospel Choir, who are Hope, uh, or the, producing the show Hope, actually appear in History of House as well. Excited. Yes, yes. Um, and then, of course, Shimmy is um, doing the show Hope. Um, and we're going to find out about both of those shows right now. So let's start off okay. with History of House. Tell us about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Shimmy, do you want do you want to talk? Do you want me to talk? How do you how do you feel about that? It just go first, and I'll go after you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, right, right. So, so the idea of history of house is, in fact, the pitch when I think when I was backstage meeting meeting, in fact, meeting you, Shimmy, and everyone backstage yes. at the Opera House in 2019. Yes, I yes. just I just watched their show at the time, which would have been Freedom, I believe, would have been the show. Yeah, just Freedom. Yes, and um. I sort of had an idea that I wanted to do a show with a lot of like dance music anthems and and you know bangers and everything and everything. And I was watching the, the uh, Sorry Gospel Choir show and all this all this just that the messaging about freedom and um, the right to, to live the life how you want to live your life and all this sort of stuff and how powerful music it is. I realised that they're very similar things that like I love about dance music and, and love about music, especially house music. And so when I'm walking backstage, which is a very long walk. From the from the front stage down to the little green room cabins, I was like, oh, it's kind of a show. It's about everything. It's got all the all the good stuff in it. It's about this is the universal themes and music's got no no color and no boundaries and no borders. And <laughs> it kind of came in and um and everyone said, so um Simon, what's this idea you've got for a show? And I said, well, I've kind of got this idea that house music is universal and um it's, there's no borders and you know. All, all, all that matters is like your really all that matters is your taste in music <laughs> nothing yeah. else matters so <laughs> you know and i think there's a there's, a, there's a, a great way to show you know unity and inclusiveness so we have like like choir and and me up on stage are just doing the greatest dance songs the greatest bangers of all time through the decades and talking about the, the story of dancing uh -huh. and, and and how it it's it's and the healing power of music like music's incredibly yes. healing and and God Almighty, and I, I mean, and Shimmy could talk more about how powerful were, how powerful like the our, our songs of praise and worship have, have been through the tough times you've had in South Africa and stuff. And I, I just think on a much lesser, lesser scale, how much house music has meant to like a lot of different communities around the world and and all that sort of stuff. And I thought, you know, it's a it's the story of dance music. It's the history of this. It's the history of house. I kind of came up with the name straight away in the in in, in the room and. Um, everyone kind of looked at me like I was crazy. And I, I think I think um, uh, Mr. Andrew Kay, his, his manager, kind of went, that sounds kind of interesting. What do you think, fellas? And you guys all went, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and then I basically went away for four months and worked out what the hell I was going to do. And yeah. I started sending music over to you guys. I think you guys were touring in China, I think, at the time. And I'm just yeah, yeah, sending we're, we're three the WhatsApp. And you're all going, <laughs> yes. we don't know what this guy's doing. We don't know any of this music. And then I think we finally decided to send me to to Johannesburg to Soweto to workshop the show with with the choir for a couple of weeks in early 2020. And I think it was during that time I really got an understanding of, of what um, 
just I think I just a, a glimpse of the understanding of how, how important the choir is and which I already yeah. knew but like it was just um mm-hmm. how how uh, it's this it's the choir is just this is amazing thing like I'm when I'm not around the choir I I miss I miss being around the choir this 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 family and it's like if you have any idea what angels sound like it's the choir you know like yeah. I always <laughs> think that you. like it's so <laughs> healing you know and when we step so on stage much. you know and when, when we step yeah. on stage we're doing 90 minutes of of high impact um dancing and choreography and and the harmonies and all that like we're completely drained but we're floating at the same time you know what I mean like everyone's just floating off that stage just going yeah. oh my god you know and it's just mm. it's, I think that that part of the show to me has just been in, incredible and I, I I'm so glad that after the couple of years of lockdowns that we all endured and all all the terrible stuff that's gone on in the world we get to share this incredibly special performance incredibly special show with everyone yeah. like it, it's it really it's is. so it's magical like it's absolutely magical yeah. Yeah, fireworks. <laughs> I saw it last year, um, and it's just filled with the you know classic bangers. Um, I remember yeah. you know, it was Whitney Houston. It, it was just endless. Um, audibly, I mean, as a sound, it's just like powerful, amazing. But visually, the lighting. I remember the lighting because it's an open air venue that you guys are working in. Um, it's um, I the Fantail, which is the open air venue, huge venue. Um, I just remember visually it was spectacular the lighting was amazing just like electrifying seriously i took some amazing photos that night for social media i remember yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I remember too. Uh, so can, does the lineup of songs change at all do you add in a few more for this show? <laughs> you know a couple of surprise tracks yeah no, okay. absolutely like we, we have right yeah like, three three some <laughs> three, we, we, yeah, we, we, we've got some surprises actually yeah. yeah, we've got some we got some new songs that will just blow the audience away, and like Simon has said, I mean, just number one it, for us, it, it, it's the biggest honor that we we get to work with Simon. I yeah. mean, he's a respected DJ all over the world, and getting to work with him, it is something that is amazing. And the way he he just fitted in like a glove when 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 he started working with the choir and the music, the the, the type of music that he listens to happens to be what we listen to in, in South Africa. And the house music, it's, it's huge in South Africa. And it it, it, it it was not difficult, you know, to chill in when he came in and said, this is what I have, what you got for me. And we, we just had to, 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 to put in our, our characters in it and, and put on these powerful voices and the dance moves, the choreography is crazy on stage because of, it's, what, it's what we grew up doing and it's what, it's what we grew up listening to and what we enjoy. House music, it's big and house music, it's a game changer everywhere where you go. You know, so we and in South Africa we love house music, so it was easier for us to chill in. And like now I say, we've got uh, new bangers in the show that will 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 just you know make the audience go crazy. So people in Adelaide, they must yeah, they must they must come in numbers to come in and see this. It's, it's something amazing. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, Shimmy, um, your choir, I mean the Soweto Gospel Choir. Um, and the yes. show is just phenomenal. Adelaide fell in love with you last year and yes, in yes. all of our interstate and overseas uh, visitors yes. as well. They've just embraced you into their hearts. Um, let you. me turn that off. Someone's calling. They can wait. I'll get back to them. Uh, <laughs> I think it's mum. Are you coming for dinner tonight? Um, but, um, so we did, we, you just embraced, um, you know, Adelaide embraced you and, you know, we took you into our hearts and we're yes, so excited to have this back. It was just, you know, I remember sitting in the, cause I saw that show last year. In fact, I think I saw that show twice last year. I remember sitting in the audience and I know the first half of the show is in not necessarily English, um, language, the lyrics aren't in English. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. I can speak African, um, but the, um, uh, you know, the, the impact of the music just hits you to your heart. You know yeah. what it's about, yeah. even though you don't understand the words. Um, yes. And then, of course, at the, towards the end, there are a couple of English um, spoken songs as well, which, you know, yes. are impactful. But the show is amazing, everybody. It's just incredible. Thank you. Please tell me um, why you love bringing this show to Adelaide and, you know, what it feels for you to be able to do that. We, we love bringing the show to Adelaide because of the atmosphere, the people, the love that we get from, from Adelaide. And, you know, we, we, we love um, uh, making people hear our music and, and, 
and just get to see our culture, different cultures and faiths that we always talk about. And even listening to the different languages that we have. I mean, we have, we have 12 official languages in South Africa. And in the show, we sing in six of those. So we, we like to showcase those, those, those languages so people will understand, you know, even if they don't understand, but they must feel the music of South Africa. So that's why we love coming to, to, to Adelaide because Adelaide is, it's, it's, Adelaide is the best platform for us to showcase what South Africa is all about. I'm talking from traditional music to reggae to pop to rock and everything. We 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 there. We bring all, everything there. So we we just love showcasing South Africa. It really has got heart and soul. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yes. So do you take uh, the Soweto Gospel Choir to other fringes around the world and other festivals around the world? Like anything as big as what yeah. you did in Adelaide? Yeah, we did this, uh, the, the in Scotland the Edinburgh Edinburgh, oh. Edinburgh Festival. We've done that yeah. many a times, and every time so we do there, it's been it's like our home also because people just love the choir, you know. Yeah. But you know, there's one thing about uh, Australia. There's one thing about why we come here. This is the place where so we do gospel choir was born in 2002 when so we do gospel choir was was created and was formed. The first tour that we did, a three months tour that we 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 we, we did. People from Australia in Frankfurt, what is this? Yeah, something like that. They they are the first paying audience that paid for Zodiac Gospel Choir without without even hearing us hitting a note. They went and they they started buying tickets and filling up those theaters. We went all over. We went to Adelaide, we went to Perth, we went to Brisbane, we went to Canberra, we went to Sydney. People came in numbers. So the love that this Australia has shown to us, it's amazing. And when we hear we feel like it's actually it's home for us. Mm. We feel special. And now, you know, and you go all over the world and you get to meet Simon, mm. one of the one of the greatest uh, DJs. And to us, like I said, yeah, it's an honor. And even today, even when we get on stage, even when you see, we still get goosebumps because of the type of the ear that he, he, he has for the music and the, the taste that he has for music. It's amazing. So when you see that show, Hope, and when you see the, the history of house, it's two electrifying shows. Oh, two awesome. electrifying shows. Yes. I couldn't um, rave about either of those shows enough. Um, another thing I like about the Soweto Gospel Choir, well, the show Hope, is that um, you will wear, you, you know, cultural um, attire as well, which just adds to yeah. the impact of it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, boys, tell me, when you're in town, obviously you've been coming here a while now, um, yeah. you know, you've got your friends here, you've got the, you know, your acquaintances and all of that. Are there any shows yeah. that you're also looking forward to seeing outside of your own? Can you give me a hot tip? Uh, a show I, here, <laughs> I haven't checked the, actually the, the, the menu of the show, but there's a show that, that happened last time. It, it, it's 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 also a musical show. There's a choir that sings with this lady, and it it was called Whitney. Gospel a gospel choir. A gospel yeah, choir. The, the, that 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 that's amazing. That's the best show, and I'm looking forward to seeing them also. Charmaine no, no, Jones no, 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 is this, an absolute yeah. wonder. Yeah, so nice yeah. to have the Madeleine based. Uh, I was blown away when I saw that. It, it was it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And yeah. you, Simon. Um, I actually haven't had a good look at the program yet. I was going to look at that on Monday. Um, definitely, I always check out what Shah's doing. She's, you know, I, I'm obviously having worked with Shah a couple of times now. Um, she's, she's an absolute, absolute powerhouse. And, and we were talking about that before we started the interview, like how much we love her shows. Um, I think it's a few things. I think actually um, I was sent, Heather actually sent me a link to some crazy interactive rave thing that I need to go have a look at. Um, it's, it's set up somewhere, so I'm sure I'm going to go in there some, some late night and get lost for hours. Um, and always yeah. the comedians are always amazing. Um, I mean, I've got to say, my favourite thing about Adelaide Fringe is the Gluttony Artist Bar. That's probably my favourite nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know you guys don't get a lot of downtime because it's pretty much chock-a-block, but if you do get any downtime, is there somewhere in Adelaide that you really enjoy visiting, like a local bar, a cafe, restaurant, or even a beach? Uh, Simon? <laughs> I'm well, you know, what, what's 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 that place that we went and and we performed at uh, with his oh, we did the show yeah we, we did a we did a little pop-up gig um 
for the, yeah. for the at the Austral on Rundle oh, Street. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. 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 They're great, that, super, yeah, super supportive. Um, yeah. I, always, I mean, that's like, you know, I, having grown up in Adelaide, I definitely spent a lot of my underage time in the Austral <laughs> in, very, very early on, a long time ago, or generally in Rundle Street. Um, but yeah, there's so many great places, you know, down, down Hilly Beach and um, all the great restaurants yeah, yeah. like Amalfi and Ying Chow and Haji uh, and all those sorts of places. So yeah, there's, there's lots yeah. of great places. Show, love show. Yeah. Well, yeah. my friends, um, like I said, history of house right there um, in the fan yes. hall, running from the 16th of February to the 17th of March with Groove Terminator and Gospel, yes. oh, sorry, Soweto Gospel Choir. Yay. Yes. And then if, <laughs> and that's, so center spread, you can't miss that. And then if you flick through to page, where are we? Bear with me, my friends. Uh, there we are. Click through to page 35, you'll see um, History of House repeated again there. And right below it, you'll see Soweto uh, Gospel Choir, Hope. Gospel Choir, um, yeah. And that runs from the 21st of February to the 31st, oh, sorry, to the 13th of March um, at the Fantail also. Please get along, support these incredible shows because these guys are legendary. I have seen them last year. I can thoroughly recommend it. I will be along again this year. And I wish you both, um, Simon and Shimmy, an incredible 2024 Adelaide Fringe. And please, can we hang out after the show? Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. We can do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 We'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> See you very soon, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.